How's it going YouTube? Lee here at Absolute Music. I've literally just grabbed five minutes to come in here to our glamorous storeroom in the heart of our store to show you this. One of my favourite new pedals from Catlin Bread Effects. It's the Katz and Koenig. What's that I hear you ask? Well, the Katz and Koenig roughly translate to Cat King. Uh, and the reason it's a Cat King is because it's a rat killer, as you can see there from the awesome graphics which are on it. So, what have we got under the hood? Essentially, it's a dual hybrid fuzz distortion pedal that combines two old classics. You've got the rat providing the meat and potatoes, and you've got the tone bender Mark II providing the front end fuzz circuit. On the pedal itself, real simple. Um, four controls, you've got input, gain, filter, and volume, as you can see here. Um, the input takes control of the, uh, the, the fuzz circuit, the, the, the front end fuzz circuit from the tone bender. So with the gain right down, uh, and just using this control, you're gonna get more fuzzy sounds. The gain is the opposite. Uh, the gain takes care of the sort of meat and potatoes classic rat sound, um, 80s rat sound that is, the, the, the good old stuff. Um, and the filter control is the same as you'd find on a rat, but it's been refined. So the top end and the bottom end have been somewhat tamed, um, making them more usable. So you should be able to sweep all the way through and find loads of sounds that you're gonna love. Lastly, a volume. We all know what that does. You turn it up, it sounds good. So let's check it out. I've got two guitars for you today. Trusty old Strat. I say old, it's not, it's new. It's a vintage, uh, vintage 65, American vintage 65 that I happen to find in the store today. And over here, the good old Leicester. This is the 125th anniversary used model that we've got in stock at the moment. Rather nice flame top on that. So we've got some single coil action, some humbucker action. Let's get down and dirty with the Katz and Koenig. What tune are you using, Lee? Today, Dan, I'm using the TC Electronic Polytune Clip. So, running into a blues junior today. It's a sound that everybody knows. It's a great platform for pedals. Here's a clean reference tone. <laughs> What we'll do is we'll start with the gain and the input right down. There is a little bit of gain built into this, so if the pedal, if the controls are off, you'll still get a bit of distortion. We'll put the filter just central and we'll put the volume roughly central as well and see what we get. Classic kind of crunch there, still very stratty, um, letting all those nice tones through. What we'll do, we'll start to dial in a little bit of the input fuzz now and just hear how that sounds on its own, which is a really cool feature of this pedal because you can use the two circuits independently um, or we'll combine them in a bit and see how that sounds as well. <laughs> Starting to get a little bit of that lovely fuzz coming in now. It's thickening up. What we'll do, I think if we just dial in some of the distortion, let you hear a bit of that on its own uh, before we combine the two. We're just gonna ramp the filter up a little bit just because the Strat's obviously quite a bright guitar. We don't want it to be too harsh. So let's see how this sounds. It should be a little bit more clear and less fuzzy. Sounding good, proper nice distortion there. You could play that all day long. All your classic rock songs, done and dusted. So I think if we bring in the fuzz as well now and wind them both up a bit, 
you'll hear how it sounds. And this is my favorite sound, I love this, um, because it allows you to play chords and leads and have the best of both. You've got the tightness and the clarity of the distortion circuit, um, but you've got that lovely compression and thickness uh, of the fuzz. So you can jump between the two and yeah, you'll see what I mean. So what you're hearing there, as I said, you got all the clarity of the distortion. So when I chugged, it was still tight, it was clear. But when I hit those single notes on the upper strings, it wasn't fizzy. Just listen to this. That's the bridge pickup on a Strat, and I'm sat here, it's, it's loud, <laughs> I'll tell you that, but it's not bright, it's not piercing. Um, let's hear it on the neck pickup and see how that sounds. I might dial the filter back a little bit just to keep the clarity in. Yeah! There we go, that's the strap. We're gonna flip over to the Les Paul and see how it sounds with some buckers. Okay, so we flipped over to Mr. Les here. Um, rolled out the fuzz circuit now. I just wanna hear the distortion on its own. Great combination. Les Paul into a wrap. Yep, all day long. So, let's see what we've got. <laughs> Classic sounds there. It's sounding thick. You've got a bit more brightness now. Obviously, the Les Paul kicking out a bit more of everything. Um, that that gain, although it's bright and it's it's aggressive, it's still not harsh. It's still not piercing. Uh, and we could tame that off a little bit if we if we roll the filter up. Listen to how this sounds. <laughs> So depending on how you've got your amp set, uh, depending on what amp you're using, you can use that filter like a three band EQ in one knob. You can sweep it around, find that sweet spot and just tune it for your rig. Um, it's gonna sound different at different volumes. Obviously, as you start to turn things up, you're gonna need to tweak it maybe a little bit, but from one control, you should be able to tune it to your sound. So let's bring a bit of the fuzz in now. Obviously, this is throwing a lot, a lot more front end gain down the, down the chain here, um, so it's going to compress in a different way. And uh, yeah, let's just let's just turn it up and see what we get. I think Lee, it's going to get. Lee, yeah. Can you make the fuzz really filthy, please. You like it filthy? All right, let's just let's just fuzz it up. Let's just do it. Here we go. 
That's a good sign, by the way. If you turn a pedal on, it does that. It's just wanting to play. So what you can hear there, uh, with this turned up, the circuit's just going crazy now. It's compressing, um, it's, it's overdriving in all the right places, uh, and you've got the lovely bloom of the fuzz coming through, which is, again, what I love about this pedal. I'm a fuzz nut, um, but also I appreciate that some fuzzes you can't play in all situations because they're, they're too loose, they're too messy. With this, I like to dial in the fuzz and get it really just overloading in like I say in all the right places um, and then dial in the gain as well just to keep it clear so you can still play tight rock rhythm um, and you can still play tight singing leads but you've got that well you've got this <laughs> that real chewy fuzz character which which is great um, but then you can go back to a chord you can chug away all day long if that's your thing I don't know what that was by the way um, and it still stays tight, it still stays defined. You can play big chords. And you don't lose anything like you would on uh, a more traditional fuzz, shall we say. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, remember to subscribe to our channel. We've got more on the way. Um, check out some of the back catalogue. There's some really old vintage footage of us, me and Dan there, um, five years ago. Where we, I probably look the same because, um, yeah, I'm Peter Pan. I've, I've got a cool beard now. Dan, Dan's grown a beard. It's taken five years, but he has grown a beard. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. <laughs>